Hi and welcome to part 7 of building a CRM using Django and Vue. In this part we want to make it possible to assign a lead to a member but first I want to make it possible that only the owner of the team can add members. And to do that we need to go into team.view. Up here where we show this add member button I only want to show this if we are the owner. So here we can say template v if team created by dot id equals store dot state dot team no sorry user dot id so if these two are the same this will be rendered so close this and save and we can go back to the browser to see this if we go into team there is an error Can't read the property ID of undefined. That is probably because I need to add this as an object down here temporarily before we get it from the server. So refresh and now the button is gone. And I think that is because that this is stored as a string in the database. So if I parse int save now i have the button there perfect so that was task one finished and we can set it to done so now the next step is to make it possible to assign leads to a member and to do that we need to first update the lead model because we need to add information here about who the assignee is so find models.py in the lead app folder and then above created by I say assigned to equals models dot char field sorry foreign key of course user object the related name can be assigned leads on delete models dot set null because we don't need to delete a lead just because we delete a user and since we can set this to null, we need to make this possible because not all leads will be assigned to a person. So now we can save that. And we can go back to the terminal so we can update the database, make migrations and migrate. Perfect. Now we can run the server again. So we have it in the background and we can go back here. And the lead model is now updated, so we can set it to done. Next step now is to update the lead serializer because we want to get this information to the front end. So here above created it, assigned to. And you can add it at the bottom or wherever you want, I just want to have it here. And we want to have more information about the user. Right now we'll just get the ID. So up here, we can import the user serializer from the team, from team.serializers import user serializer. And then we say assigned to equals user serializer and set read only to true because we don't want to create a user when we create a lead. Great. So now we will access this information in the front end as well. We can set this to done. And to make it possible to assign a user, we need to override the update function in the views.py file. Just like we do here on a team, we need to do the same thing, but with the assigned to user. So here we need to create a new function def perform update self serializer and then in here I want to get the object obg equals self get object this is the current lead we have and then member id equals self dot request dot data this is information we get from the front end assigned to so this will be a user ID. And then we can check if 
this exists. So if member ID, then we know that uh, we have assigned it to a user. I need to get the user from the database. Objects.get pk for primary key equals member ID. And since we are going to use this, we need to import it from Django. From Django.contrib.auth.models import user. And down here we can say serializer.save assigned to equals user. So now we'll save this and set assigned to to the user we have selected in front end. And if the member ID isn't there, we can just say serializer.save and there won't be a user assigned to it. Great. So now I can set this to done, save. And the next step now is to find the edit lead so we can add the functionality here to select which member we want to assign to. So I can copy this since this is a select list. And instead of saying priority, we say assigned to. And this should be lead.assigned to. We can have one empty first there. Select member. Now we can set this to selected. And then if I just remove one of these, and then I want to make this iterable, because now we want to loop through all of the members in our team. So v bind value member dot id. I want to say v for member in team dot members, and v the bind id member dot id so it's unique okay i get an x here because this should be the bind key of course and then here we can show member dot username like that Great, so now we just need to make it possible to get this from the back end because now we don't have access to the team on this page. So here you can say team, Great. make it an object and in here we need the members just so it doesn't crash before we get the information from the back end. And then here we can say this.get team. And we already have a function for this in team.view. So here we can copy all of this function, get team, go back to edit lead and just paste it below the submit form like this. So then we can save this, try to go to the browser and test this. Then I just go to leads, go into a lead, edit it. Then I have the select list here. And I can choose code to update. The lead was updated and I don't got any errors as I can see. Perfect. So if I just now go back here, I can set this to done and done. And then the next step now is to show a signee in the list of leads. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. So leads.view. Here after a contact person, we can say th assigned to and close the th. And here again, td. Here I want to use the template v if directive lead dot assigned to. So if this v if sorry. So if this has a value, then we can show it. So lead dot assigned to dot username and close the template like that. 
and also close the TD save. So if I now go to leads, you will see that this is assigned to equal to perfect, and this doesn't have assigned in to person perfect. So now I can set this to done as well. Next step now is to show the assignee in the list detail page. And to do that, I can just make a copy of this and go to lead.view. And I want to show it here above the status. I can use this v if here as well. So p strong assigned to. Close the strong and close the p like that. So if I now go into this, you will see assigned to there. Perfect. And this doesn't have assigned to person yet. Great. So then I can set this task to done as well. That was all of the task for this part. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please click like below. See you in the next video.